God favors you. Each of us have a dream. And many of us want to share our dream. And then we have those that are around us that are hating because of our dream. You do know you got some haters. Amen. So say, I am favored by God. And I do have a dream. And I'm not going to let him go until he bless me. Amen. You may take your seats. See, Joseph, amen, he was favored by God. Now, I don't know exactly what made him the favor, but sometimes favor just ain't fair. Amen. We don't get to pick and choose who get it, but favor just ain't fair. I don't know why God loves me like he do. It's not because of my righteousness, of my goodness, but he just does. Amen. And see, the thing about it, when I took you to Genesis chapter 12 and 2, that was the promise of Abraham. And see, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have the right to the promise of Abraham. And so in that promise, in the Amplified Version, it says, I will bless you with an abundance, increase in favors, plural. So it's your right if you tap into it. See, you got some rich kin folks that died and left you an inheritance. But see, what happened was we didn't read the will. And see, we didn't know that we was born prosperous. Hallelujah. See, we didn't read all the fine print. We didn't go in there and get the detail and see that your name was an inheritance, that you were born, your chosen generation, that you of the royal priesthood. So therefore, you have no right to be poor. You're born into royalty and you have lack. You didn't read the will. You didn't read the will. It says an abundance increase in favors. And when I get in the presence of God, I have everything that I need. But some of us are still in need of some stuff. So I'm going to tell you how to get your stuff. So Joseph was favored by his father. And he had a dream. And many of us have a dream. And we're striving for our destinies. But we haven't tapped into our favor. Amen. Because if we did, we wouldn't be struggling with the dream. And so... When you have a dream, and see, people can tell when you own something, you know. <laughs> she acting funny. <laughs> Reverend Simmons ain't been himself, and I know he hate that, but you've been acting funny. That's because he's carrying a dream. And man, he got tunnel vision for right now. And he don't even see you. It wasn't that he wasn't trying to ignore you, but he was focused on the dream and the vision. And he passed you by. It wasn't that he didn't want to speak to you. He just kind of had a little tunnel vision at the time. And he was focused on the destiny and the dream that God had prepared for him. Instead of us saying, Reverend Simmons, I'm encouraged you. Move into your rightful place. You like Joseph brothers, you hating. You hating. That's what the Bible said. He said, and Joseph, verse 5, and Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told his brethren, and they what? Hated him yet the more. So you got haters that when you got blessings, when God began to bless you, instead of them encourage you, they start hating on you. You do know you got haters. And I'm not even talking about the world. I'm talking about haters in the body of Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haters in the body of Christ. Instead of encouraging, they want to say you're acting funny. Amen. Every now and then I come in and I have tunnel vision. And it's not that sometimes I come in, I try to kiss everybody. But then sometimes I'm a little more focused than other times. And you don't know my struggles. See, that's the time when I have to focus more. I can't even see foolishness. I need to be like the horses. I need my blinders on. See, when the enemy knows that you have a dream, see, it's his job to stop you before you get to your destiny. So what he do is throw in blocking place. He create little storms in your life. And that's to keep you from getting to your destiny. And so when storms in my life come, I begin to get a little tunnel vision. And I begin to get a little more focused. And I might pass by you and not speak. Not that I don't love you any less. I'm going through something. And I need to see. I need to see. When you see me pass by and I'm kind of focused, what 
you doing?